The young explorers have met up with the next mode of transport. These are four-legged machines charged with energy and we call them sled dogs. The young explorers will individually handle their own sleds, up to eight dogs per sled, and will be able to travel distances that before wasn't able to walk. Today we met up with Andre and Anastasia. They run the dogs sledding place and they also have traditional yurtas and yarangas, which are like traditional people of Kamchatka's housing. They showed us around the amazing place and we met all their dogs, the dogs that we're going to be traveling with for the next two days. The snow is quite icy and the dogs are going to go running off really fast because they're excited and they have a lot of energy. Um, I'm going to have to hold on tight and try to control the sled as good as I can. This is it. We've had an early uh, morning wake-up call. Then we're just about to set off on a 30k voyage. It's going to take us across frozen lakes, across rivers. We're going to go over bridges. So I'm going to be the last one keeping the team going quick, keeping us motivated, keeping us fast. And also, we're going to be safe as well. So after a while, you just really get a feeling to how to work with the dogs. And you have to pay attention to many things at the same time. It's just like driving, but after a while, it was just so much fun. You do fall over, but the most important thing is just to not let go of the sled. It was so much fun. And once you were just going through the woods and you're on your own, and you're just like, oh my god. Words can't describe what we just went through. It was such an amazing experience. First, we started off going over these bridges and dogs are so excited, just going so quick. And this is, this is probably my favorite one here. He's pulling from the back so hard. They work so well as a team. And we'll come up to these little creeks and they'll, they'll get real scared, but we'll egg them on, get them going, get them going, get over. And we, we've made it 10K. We've got here, this is our goal. And the, the other crew are gonna take over and they're gonna take the dogs to the finish. beautiful um, kind of frozen over lake which wasn't so frozen over in past. The dogs are really tired because they've gone about 30 kilometers today and it, and it can be really challenging at times trying to communicate with the dog, encourage them to keep going when they're tired and you're tired. Today we travel from the snow dogs place which is about 15 kilometers north of Petropavlovsk. We traveled with the dogs um, up about 30 kilometers to here and we're between the Koyaksky volcano and Avachinsky volcano in a a little saddle where we'll be staying um, for the night, getting ready to try and summit. If the weather's good enough, um, one of the volcanoes tomorrow and then the next day, the other one. It was amazing. Um, I had so much fun with the dogs. A bit tiring though because when we were going up the hills, we had to push with our foot and um, help them up. So a lot of teamwork involved with that. <laughs> but it was so much fun, I had a great day.